we are going now to look at uh, the programming model that we're going to use to describe our distributed abstractions. It is an event-based component model. So, what is our model? We have a set of nodes. These are the nodes in our system. Each node model a local program. So, we assume also a form of global clock. It's outside the nodes control. It's for us to understand what's going on. We look from a global point of view. At each tick, so a node will either will take a step and this step is either a computation step a computation step or it is a communication step and what is a computation step a computation step will perform uh, local computations and it sends or receive one message from one other node and the communication step is just the delivery of a message to another node. Mm -hmm. okay. And message delivery triggers a computation step on the receiving node. So what if we look inside the node, what is a node consists of? A node will consist of a set of components these components can be considered concurrent. These are programs. These are concurrent programs that are running. And each component sends and receives messages. And messages between components on the same node will be called events. Okay? Within a component, when it receives an event, it will be handled and handled by an event handler. So what we are looking at then is a form of programming model that we call event-based programming. So nodes executes programs. Each program consists of a set. The program itself, the static code of the program, consists of a set of modules or component specifications. And at runtime, these are deployed as components. The component in general connect to each other Sometimes they form what we call a software stack, and components interact among each other by events. So it means that within a component, whenever it triggers an event, it, this event will trigger an event handler, a code, a function that's going to be executed. And we are going to specify this as follows. By what we call an event handler, it starts with upon event, and this will be the event type, and these are the formal arguments of uh, the event. Um, arguments, it's data carried in the message. It will do a local computation, and then it will basically trigger a new event. Or man one or many, does not necessarily be one event. So, to describe distributed algorithm, we are going to use then an event-based programming model. And events mostly are going to be messages. But it can be also timers or can be um, conditions in on the local state variables of a component. So just to repeat, a component deployed will have a number of variables representing its states and a number of event handlers. We are going to have two types of events, a request event and an indications event. So what is a request event? You can think of it as follows. You have a component here, say C, an event that is flowing into the component will be a request event. An event that is triggered inside the component and sent to some other place will be called an indication event. Indication event. That is fine. So let us have a look a little bit more to an example. So here is 
a deployed stack of components in a single node. One thing we can see that we would consider also the communication channel as a component. Here you can see it here. It will be considered as a component. You can send a request to it, which is basically a request to send message to somebody else. And you can receive a message from it. This is called this component will deliver a message to other components in the system. You can also see here the application level. So the application can be considered um, a component. And then the algorithm that we would like to implement, which in this case is we an example of an atomic um, commit algorithm. And this atomic commit component will use in its turn a reliable broadcast abstraction or component and a consensus uh, component. Um, there's something just to specific to say here, which is will be clear, is that events or messages sent out from say a component and received by another component in the same node will be delivered in FIFO order. Very good. So I just mentioned that channels also will be thought of as components. In fact, the channels, uh, so they are as a comp when they are the program for it, it's a module and the deployed thing is a component. So and you can think of a, a channel it just as a component that receives request events to send messages, to send things to a destination. So that is send to a destination a certain message. This is a destination here, and this is the data to be sent. And at the other side, when the message it went through the network and delivered to the corresponding um, component, uh, the channel component will deliver the message up. So you can see it simply as this. You have a channel component, I call it a channel component. Here you send a message, some message M. This will go through the network, received by another component of the same type, and then it will be delivered here. So this is the deliver event. And that is mm, the deliver event. The deliver event um, will be handled here by the delivery uh, handler in the channel. Here's an example of an application. So this is, you can think of it as a very simple application. It's, uh, um, it's an application that uses a broadcast uh, abstraction. So what we are implementing here will be an a broadcast abstraction. This uses channel modules to broadcast. So you can see here the application. The application sends an event, which is uh, a request event to the broadcast abstraction uh, to, to broadcast the message M. The broadcast abstraction will send multiple messages to the channel component, requesting it to deliver the message M to the other nodes, or maybe also to itself, uh, to node P2, to P, um, P3. When the message um, appears here, it will be delivered upward, it will be delivered to the broadcast abstraction, and the broadcast abstraction uh, then can do whatever it depends on the program inside the abstraction broadcast abstraction, how it's going to handle this.